That's why I said, uh, that's why I said what I said in the text. You know, we can, uh, right, right. Know. My apologies, though, because you, oh, no. you had hit me up. Then I was like, dang, he did something. Well, he's going to hit me up. And then I was like, well, yeah, yeah, I had you, I, I had you set. Who, who is that oh. DJ like that? Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How's y'all, how's y'all night doing? Locked out, man. That is me, and I am back. Yes, sir, I am back with another podcast. Welcome to the Locked Out Men Podcast Show. I am your host, Locked Out Men. That is me. And I am back with another podcast interview. Well, technically, I'm not back because we actually had an interview. But it was unfortunate that the audio, I, the, the video was cool. But the problem was, it wasn't, you, you, you couldn't hear nobody. The audio was, the audio crashed. And all, all you could see was just my mouth moving. And y'all would have been like, who the hell are you talking to? We see the picture, but we don't hear, we, we, we don't hear him. So we are back pretty busy day today and now it is raining i mean it's it's crazy it went from 90 degrees today or 80 degrees where i'm at down to overcast and raining right now this shit crazy huh. all right well this young lady was on the show before as i said before uh unfortunately we couldn't i i couldn't get it i couldn't get it out to you guys because it wasn't no audio but uh she's been trucking for quite a while as a matter of fact i forgot her bio but she been she been trucking for quite a while and i hooked up with her through youtube if i'm not mistaken did did i did i send an invite to you through youtube or did we come together in instagram um, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Comment on YouTube. Yeah, I think uh, one of my subscribers, as all of you guys do, y'all see somebody interesting that you think I uh, that uh, that you think I should talk to, y'all send me an email or actually y'all send me a link and y'all be like, yo, check out this uh, check out this trucker right here. So I went to her uh, page and actually checked her out and she's uh pretty good, pretty good. So. I would like to welcome back to the show, Jiggly Trucker. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, what's 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 going on up in your part of the world today? Because we we tried to get together, and uh, we we both been busy on on both sides you got guys gotta understand we're truck drivers you know so you know we gotta work on each other's like time you know what i'm saying for me i can right. if, if a person gives me a time i can make the time if i'm not uh if i'm not technically driving you know what i'm saying and it's and it's right. and also if it's somebody that i really really want to talk to and they be like yo i'm only available at like at a certain time then yeah i'll i will literally find a truck stop or a rest stop pull over set up and then uh get it in with them such person is miss jiggly trucker right here so what's going on with you today oh pretty busy day i mean i'm getting i mean i didn't got through it now it's over now but it was a hot day frustrated day you know them things. You know, um, I'm on home time as well for a couple of days. Had a little accident going with my car, so I had to come home and get all that straight. But wait, you say you had an it, accident? You had an accident with your child? No, with my um car. Um, uh, basically, somebody was using my car while I was um out on the road or whatever. Mm -hmm. and they got into a little fender bender. Everybody okay though, you know? But um. You know, the aftermath with the insurance and having to go pick up the tie and then you got oh, to pay yeah. this person. Yeah. Nobody want to tell you any information. Yeah. So mm. the mm -hmm. the person that the person that you the person that drove your car, you 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 was good with them driving your car? I mean 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a um, family member. I don't really just want to put her information out there, but oh, no, yeah, it was good. a family member. She, she's cool though. I love her to death. I know she ain't mean no harm, you know, or nothing like that. So, so the insurance was what it was. Things happen. Is did the insurance try to try to block you because you wasn't one that was driving the car? Or what, what was the deal with the insurance? No, no, no. Fortunately, we had her, like, on the insurance and stuff, so everything was fine. You know, I, you know what? It's it's kind of funny with with insurance. I, I had uh, I had progressive insurance. Pretty good insurance, expensive insurance, but it was because it was a... It, it was a truck, and it was a, it was brand, well, it was semi-brand new at the time, and I had full, you know, bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage on it and all like that. So I only had to, I utilized the insurance on that truck maybe three times. Um, I think, uh, I think the front, I ran into a fire hydrant. Yes, I ran into a fire hydrant, but that was because I was dodging a dog that darted in front of me, and all of a sudden I, you know, um, so the insurance took care of that, uh, and a few other things. But here's my thing about the insurance: like, the insurance covers the car, so I was always up under the impression that. Being that the insurance covers the car, anybody that drives the car is covered. But now that I come to find out that some insurance don't do that, like if a person, if it's if right. if it's a if it's a un un if a uninsured driver drives the car, and the insurance finds out, they won't. You know, they they won't get the car fits or anything like that because you wasn't the one that was driving right. the car. And that's kind of crazy considering the fact that I brought the, I'm paying $200 plus for insurance on the car. So regardless of who drives it, the car should be insured. Right. Right. Say that again. I said, regardless of who drives the car, if you paying that, if you paying that amount for insurance, like full coverage, not liability, then it doesn't matter who right. drives the car, right? Right. I mean, you got my money. You should be able to to work for that, right? That's that's what I thought. But um, yeah, I I had to find out, and that was a while ago. Um, back when I was driving somebody's car and got into an accident in it mm -hmm. or whatever, and they was like, you know, insurance not gonna cover it because you was the one driving and you're not on my insurance policy. Now that that's a whole nother situation. Hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, Jiggly, let uh let everybody know a little bit about yourself. Well, I am from Richmond, Virginia. Um. I was born in D.C., lived part of my life in Florida, but I rep Richmond, Virginia, because that's where all, I learned all my life lessons and all that good stuff. Um, I tried to start trucking back in 2016, but I failed at the DMV three times. So I had to just be a passenger with my husband up until um, – 2018 is when I actually got my um, CDL and I ended up getting a class B CDL or whatever. And now I'm expediting. All right. So you, uh, so your husband, your husband, class A. Yeah, he's a class A. All right. So when you went to go, when you went to go and, and test out what, what happened? What, what why you wasn't able to, uh, um, to master it. Well, um, I'm going to say most of it, if not all of it, was nerves. But technically, I failed a turn at the DMV, which is, like I said, they called it an island turn. I forget what you said it was called. Um, uh, like a little turn. Uh, like that um, triangle in the middle of the road. It's, oh, man. Channel, channel, I mean, channel turn, channel turn. That's what they call it. Yeah, it's a channel, channel turn. turn. Yeah. So I failed on that twice. 
And then the last time I was so frustrated and thinking that I won't gonna get it again and I failed on my back end. So that was a whole mess. So you so at the since you didn't since you didn't muster the the class A, you you wouldn't get your class B through the same company? No, 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 no. So or through the same started, school, I'm sorry. Uh, through the same school. With, yeah, so we started with Swift mm-hmm. um, Trucking School out in Richmond, Virginia. That's where I failed at um, my first three times. And um, after I failed those first three times, Swift told me I couldn't come back. I wasn't eligible to come back, but I still had to pay them for my schooling, which was I felt like was wrong because it was like, well, I didn't get my PDL. How you expect me to pay this money or whatever? Um, but then, uh, two years later, after I paid all my stuff off, I ended up going to Shipper's Choice, which is in Chester, Virginia, and that's where I got my class B. What was, what was, what was your, what was your thinking going with, uh, going with Swift to get your, uh, to get your CDLs? Um, to be honest, I wasn't thinking, um, if I can back up for a second, like, it was not my idea to begin trucking. Mm-hmm. Um, it was completely my husband. He came home one day and said that he wanted to be a truck driver. Um, and then after watching a few YouTube videos and he seen couples driving, he was like, well, this is something we both can do. You know, we have nothing holding us back. So we might, may as well just make good money on the road together. Mm-hmm. So when we initially applied... Um, he couldn't get, we wanted to go to uh, CR England okay. um, based off of, I guess, reviews he had done. Now, mind you, I'm in the blue, so I don't know nothing about none of these truck schools. He was like, let's go to CR England. And um, CR England was like, due to his driving record, they couldn't have him on their insurance or whatever. So um, I guess once you fill out the paperwork online, all different types of trucking companies started calling. And we finally got one, which was Swift. They called us, and they they were like, you know, we'll take you. And matter of fact, we're right here in Richmond, so you can come in tomorrow if you want. Monday's the first class. We can have you guys set and ready to roll. Um, but me personally, I don't approve of either of the trucking schools I went to. I don't care how nobody feel about that, but I don't, you know. It is what it is. So, yo, so... You, 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 I don't want to sound, uh, I don't want to sound all mean or nothing like that, but you flunked out right. and your husband passed. Right. So, was, yes. so, yes. but, but when, when he, now, nah, but I'm, I'm focusing on your husband a little bit. When he, okay. when, when he applied for, or when he, uh, got in with uh, C- uh, C- CR England. They literally said that they couldn't do nothing because of his his driving record. What was the matter with his driving record? Um, prior to that, uh, he had got like some simple traffic tickets, which was like, um, not yielding to the police officer because it was like a car crash and he didn't get over or whatever, and then it was, um, I think he had a brake light out, or oh, whatever. Some, and for some, some reason, minor stuff like, like that? Well, yeah, some minor stuff like that. They were like, you can't have more than one, um, I guess, incident within the last 12 month, months, or whatever. But that's explainable, though. And when they saw though. that, they was like, well, we can't take them. That's, that's, a, exactly. that's, that's explainable, though. Explainable. Like, I mean that's I mean oh man that's that's kind of crazy. So the one he he no speeding no accidents. It was just that unfortunately he couldn't get over. You know what I'm saying? That's explainable. You know sure. you couldn't get over in time. You know because his car is coming on your left. This like with a truck. You know what I'm saying? Right. When you when you driving down a highway and you see. Uh, the emergencies, uh, the emergency people on the on the shoulder, and you got your blinkers on, and you trying to 
get over, but the other cars on the other side of you ain't letting you over. So, you know, right. at least and, and, at least he slowed down. So I I guess the I guess the officer at that time just just kind of like woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something like that and just just gave him a ticket. Yeah. And I guess so, because I mean, even when I asked him about it, it was like, um, I don't see if you can't get over, what do you expect you to do? Right. You know? Right. I mean, yeah, I mean, situations like that, you know, like I said, you know, I, I've been in a few, you know, I, I had to slow down, you know, if I can't get over, if I can't get over, I, I, I know to slow down, you know what I'm saying? So I, I try to slow down and try to, and try to roll on the middle line as close as I can without getting into the left lane to, you know, interfere with anybody. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, right. so CR, CR England denied y'all. Did, did CR England de deny right. both of y'all or just denied it him? They just denied him. And then I was like, well, there's no way I'm going out there without you. You know what I mean? Because, CR England was like in Utah somewhere. Yeah. The one they they had us going to. Yeah. It's like I, I ain't going nowhere for one by myself now. All right. So you decided to go. So you decided to go to school at that time to go to to go to school for the both of y'all. Um, why not instead of instead of instead of going through Swift? Well, I take that back. You know, I I think uh I think you said that you know your who's Whose idea was it to go to Swift? Your husband or yours? Um, it was his idea. He was like, you know, well, because Swift had called right. and they were like, well, we have a school right here, so he was like, well, we could just go right down the street. I mean, it's better for us. We can stay at home. You know what I mean? And uh, we could still have like part time jobs and still go to school at the same time. Okay. So okay. I was just like, you know, at the time, I was, I was. I was naive to a lot of the things in trucking, so I was just like, okay, no, I don't need too much research. Just go to school, go there for what you're going there for, and then it'll be fine, you know. Right, right. Okay, and plus Swift gave him his opportunity. That's why I said sometimes it's best not to right. knock, not to knock Swift for what for what it is, but you know, right. it, for. In your situation, it, it it was what it was. But your husband managed to get his license. Unfortunately, you wasn't able to get your license. Um, so he continued with Swift while you was while you was looking for other opportunities. What was what was your situation at the time? Um. So once he got his CDL, I um. I stayed at home while he went on the road with his mentor. Um, and then um, it was just, it was just like, okay, you know, I'm back now. Do you want to ride with me or do you want to stay at home? At the current situation, our home life was pretty much going downhill anyway. Um, you know, everything we, at first we were living paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. So once he got on the road, everything was cool, but it was more so like, I ain't got nothing here for me. I'm, I may as well go on the truck, even though I don't want to drive. Mm -hmm. I'll go with you on the truck. Okay. Once I got on the truck, I I got into a depression because me, I'm used to working two and three jobs. Even if they're not paying much, I'm used to doing something with my life mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so once i got on the truck and it was like he's driving all day i have nothing to do but look at social media and look stupid in the face i want to drive you know it actually looked at fun at this point regardless of school you know right the school actually was okay once i got everything but i just i i had that inkling like i could do this i could sit here and do this and make money with you so he was like, you know, why don't you go back and try to get your CDL again? You know, we didn't pay it off, everybody. Try to see if you can go back, you know. And I contacted Swift, and Swift was basically like, nah, you, you can't come back here, you know, or whatever. But you paid. I felt like it was what it was. You know, with Swift, you, 
they they make they 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 made you obligated to the money, uh, to the money for the school, even though that you didn't even get your CDLs. Like, how is that fair? I, I'm still trying to process it because, like, um, the last few years they have changed their policies, and I, I felt. I felt some type of way once I heard that they changed that they changed their policies because I'm like when I was there once I failed it was like you know what get out you know what I mean and it was more so like you know we don't need you here if you can't provide a service for us and um, yeah like I said um, I didn't read the, the contract thoroughly like I said you go into things and you read not fine print. Gotta, reading gotta read things the fine carefully print. yep. You got to read that fine print because at the end of the day, you're going to end up signing yourself over for some stuff. And I'm like, I got to pay you like three, four thousand mm-hmm. dollars and I ain't even got a certificate. You know what I mean? And that's that's a bummer because my husband also has to pay and he's the only one driving at this point. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's that's crazy yeah, yeah. you got you gotta yeah. read gotta read the fine print now i know i i know uh talking to a few uh new swift drivers out there um uh, that got their cdls through the school is now set that um swift don't pay for the school you have to sign uh you had this you had to sign um what do you call it um a finance agreement now you know what i'm saying it's a finance agreement cool. that you got that you oh. got to sign so they take the payment out of your paycheck but if you stay with them for like a couple of years then they will re they will fully reimburse the payments you see what i'm saying but if you right. if you quit or if you quit or get terminated within you know within the year while you still under uh financial responsibilities with the with the finance company then yeah you still got to pay the finance company off but you went in at a time where swift was offering to pay so right i'm kind of right. i'm i'm kind of feeling some kind of way because you know you didn't get your license so what's the point you know what i'm saying right exactly so it's not like Y'all had to, in, in my eyes, it was like y'all didn't have to borrow any money. And the school is like, right, it's on site. So it's not like I'm going to a separate facility. So it's like, what am I actually paying you for? And then I'm, I don't want to talk about nobody, but the training that I received, it was more so like, okay, now I'm paying you, but you only really focusing on the people that you want to focus on. Mm. Um and that's a whole different topic in itself. Now so I'm you, not gonna switch up topics. Now you talk but, now now yeah. you talking about the the late you you talking about the school later, right? Not not Swift. You talking about the school when you went to go and get your class B, right? Um no with Swift. Oh, it was with, still with, with Swift? With Swift too, because oh. Swift has a good Yeah, um Swift has a good program, but there were some instructors at Swift that didn't believe that women should drive. Mm. Um, at least at the school I went to. So it was like, uh, we'll entertain the women, but we're really focusing on the men. Like, we want to see what the men can do. And it's just like, uh, you can hop in the truck and back up if you want to. Or I just felt like Swift, when it came to me, it was more so like, uh, we gonna, um, we're not going to take our time to show you how to shift gears and things like that. Like if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't, mm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I mean, I, I, I eventually learned cause there was a, a, a teacher there, an instructor there that actually took his time with me to show me how to do this and do that. But other than that, I had to depend on my husband cause he had it pretty much in the bag and other students around me. But yeah, it was a lot of, uh, Whatever when it came to the people. A lot of like, a lot of fav- okay. a lot of favoritism yeah, no. a lot of favoritism towards the men other than other than the women, huh? Right, right. Oh, that wasn't fair. <laughs> That's not fair at all. Mm-hmm. All right. So now so now that you on the truck, you 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 riding with your husband, you feeling kinda bored, you decided to uh give it another shot. But instead of going for your class A's, you decided to go for your class B. 
So the yeah. the the, uh, the expedited company that you guys drive for that that requires just your class B, did you find that company first and then went for your class B or you found that company afterwards after you got your class B? Because of course, getting back on the truck with your uh, with your husband, you know, he got a class A. You right. definitely can't drive the truck with your with your class B. So what was the what was the thought process between the two about you acquiring your your class um, B? Okay, so like when I started getting bored and stuff, um, eventually uh, he was like. He was like on YouTube because he was into trucking. When he first got into trucking, he was in trucking heavy, and he came across a video which was um, uh, what are they not? The Crafty Trucker. Um, they're a trucking couple, and he was like, um, it's this trucking couple on here, and they're driving over the road, but they have a bigger cab and they have a smaller trailer. And I'm like, okay, so I look at it and I'm like oh, wow, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't even know you could do this. So we started doing our research and looking at a few of their videos, and we ran into um, another couple, which was Nick and Carla, mm-hmm. and they were doing the same thing, and they kind of explained that, you know, you only need a class D for this, and I started doing my research, like, you know, where can I go to get a class B? It sounds like it ain't that complicated, so let's do that. All right. So the crafty truckers right here, I, I I pulled them up on YouTube. Uh look like they're look like they're a trucking couple and look like they're expedited. Um do they did they actually mention what what company? Uh did they actually mention what company uh that they drive for? Because I know I'm 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 a fan of Nick and Carla, but uh as of as of uh-huh. late. And sorry, ladies, I, I hate to say this, but as of late, you guys haven't been kind of focusing on trucking uh, videos because you're, of your alternate uh, of your alternate YouTube channel. But I know they I know they were an expedited and they, you know, they didn't they didn't mention the company that they uh, they drive for, which is cool because I. I personally don't mention a company that I drive for in my YouTube videos either. But did you, right. the, the, did you, how did you, without giving the company away that you work for, how did you come across the company to, you know, the, the, the company that accepts class B for expedited? Um, so the first company we came, cause this one we kind of found on our own, but, um, it was through the the crafty trucker. They just were naming companies because um, I believe they have their own truck and all of that. But they were like um, good companies. They had a video and they talked about like good companies to start off with. And uh, we started researching one company, which um, I don't work there anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say um, which was Bolt Express. Bolt. So B O B O L T. You know, let's, let's You say Bolt. Yeah. B O B O L T, like 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 lightning bolt. So yeah, like lightning bolt. Okay. So we went there or whatever. Um, and they they're a great company. They're a great company. They're gonna get you where you need to be and all of that. Um, just unfortunately, I had some medical issues when I was there. Um, I had some high blood pressure issues and I couldn't um get to make it to my doctor's appointments and things on time so i had to get off the truck to get all that straight and um in between time i had found my current company oh okay 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 (laughs) yeah you kind of lost me there for a second sorry 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 about that because i was looking at uh i was looking at all the videos that the crafty that the crafty trucker (laughs) Uh, that the crafty truckers have uh put up. So uh, so that was so that was Bolt Express. You decided to leave them alone, but that's that's one of the companies that that uh that allows Class B truck drivers. Do do they do, do they do they recommend teams or can you go solo? What's 
Can you go solo and expedite it? Um, yeah, you can go. Yes, you can go solo and expedite it. Actually, there's a lot of companies that um, do the whole solo thing. Now, most companies, of course, they're going to prefer Teams, team driving right. and stuff like that. But they don't require it. Um, actually, when we went to orientation with Bolt, we had a guy that was going solo. You know, um, it's not it's not really a big difference. You just you'll have shorter loads when you're solo. So, what what's the what's the what's the uh, what's the money like expedited? Do you get paid by the mile? Do you get paid by the uh, load? Or you, okay, you get paid by. Um, the load so we do a 60 40 split which our company takes 60 and we do 40 but the company is going usually pays for the gas and the maintenance and all of that on the truck mm-hmm. and um the rest is ours and you split that between is it is it one paycheck uh is it one paycheck uh to you and your husband or is it two separate paychecks to you and your husband um, it's one it's one paycheck. We get we get one paycheck. Oh, okay. So y'all get one you get one paycheck between you and your husband. How how does well some couples would see that as 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 an anomaly because they would want to have their own money. Right. So how how did that work? How, how did right. that work for, for couples that that uh that get one paycheck and they got to, how do you do it? You, you split it, but 50, 50, it should be 50, 50, but do y'all just split it right. or so, do y'all just so split it or you just throw it in the bank and just work it that way? Right. I mean, it's completely up to you uh, with both companies. Cause at first we had, you know, separate bank accounts and things like that. So um, if you want, they'll just go ahead and separate it. But, the forty percent that you get, just know if you tell your company it's gonna go into two, y'all are gonna split it in half. Like no matter who drives what, they're gonna just split it directly down the middle. Oh, so, so it's gonna be it instead of forty. Drove, so instead of forty percent all together, it's gonna be just twenty percent to you and twenty percent to 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 correct, to the other guy. Correct. So I know that might be a little issue for some people. That's why. Um, and actually, they do prefer married couples. Um, I've heard stories where it's like they come in with teams like two brothers who want to drive together, and now they're mad at each other because one of them drove and the other one didn't do nothing all week long, mm-hmm. and now they're fighting over money. But that's just something you have to think about. I mean, once the money's on your end, you have full discretion of it. So if it's something y'all need to work out, I might need to crunch some numbers. Just know they're not going to do all that fight. All right. All right. So I'm 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 back on your page and I see uh I see a few videos. Um when did you actually start your YouTube page? Um, so I started my YouTube page last year, um initially. Um I started it after my father had died and I I had to leave my family to come back on the road. And um, I wasn't going to make it as, as, as prominent as I do now. I just wanted something for my family to see, you know, because taking a big loss like my father dying, it just, it, it put me in a place where it's like, I, I want to be connected with my family. So, yeah, last year is where it started. And then I ended up stopping um, because YouTube came to me with a bunch of copyrighted stuff and I didn't know how to really work YouTube like that. So they ended up hitting me with some stuff. And I was just like, bump it. I ain't going to do it. It's too much work. And I can't do this. And I can't do that. But um, then a few months ago, I want to say, I woke up one day and was like, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to I want to talk to people. Got I got things I want to say. And ain't nobody on here but me and you. So, just wanted to get some creativity going on yeah. that little that little creativity flowing i agree with you with youtube because you know like i said yeah. youtube it is what it is i still get with the middle finger though but uh but if you aren't here you know using it as uh you know using it as therapy um and my condolences to you uh for, uh, for your loss 
But if you're using it for, you know, therapy and stuff like that, then it's, it could be it could be a good thing. Now, me, I was just using it for storage, you know, and then after I got in the truck and it's just pretty much blew up after that. Um, your father, uh, big, uh, big influence in your life. Yeah, um, my father is was was my my everything. Still is. Um, yeah, he was my everything. Um, I looked just like him. Uh, people say, and you know, we did a lot of bonding growing up. I always had him right by my side. So, yeah, and like I said, he was kind of like the go between um, between everybody in the family. Because usually, I know people usually it's like you know, your mother is the rock. And my mother is, but she had an unfortunately she had an aneurysm, mm-hmm. so he had to leave his job to take care of her, and he had to be the voice for her. So it was like losing him; he kind of lost essentially the backbone to our family. Like, you know, I, I can't explain, and I'm sorry because uh, I'm, I'm thinking no, about it. No, 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 no. This it's okay. It's okay. We just. Uh, what, 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 what happened? What, what happened to him? I mean, what, what did he pass? Uh, um, a lot of, he had a, he had a lot of health issues and he wasn't, you know, taking care of himself. He had high blood pressure and diabetes. And to this day, we don't know exactly what it was. They said that, um, it was just a complication, uh, with heart failure and things like that. Um, but they couldn't pinpoint it. Like one day he just fell out and he just didn't get back up. Oh and my God. Well, again, it was unfortunate because it was, it was sudden. Again, uh, again, my condolences to you. Um, a uh, big influencer in your life. And I'm, I'm sure you went through a, went through a thing, um, uh, went through a thing after you lost, but just know that he's still with you. You know what I'm saying? He's still looking down on you, making sure you're all right. You know, when I lost my grandmother, you know, I lost my I lost my faith. But I started noticing a whole bunch of things that was going on with me. And I, it, it couldn't be it couldn't be explained. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and that's when I started getting, right. you know, putting my faith back, you know, putting my faith back in and started, you know, started walking by faith instead of by sight. Um. So you already, so you pretty much, uh, you pretty much just, just explain, uh, why you opt to get into, uh, why you opt to get into expedited. You, you, you went and did some homework and, and you and your husband, y'all, y'all good now with the company you with? Yeah. I mean, it's not yeah, I mean, we're great with the company we're with now. Uh, I can say the company that we are with now, it they treat us more like family. Like, we, they know our name. People call them whenever we want. And we basically, they can get us home whenever we want and all that good stuff. So, I mean, it's pretty good where we at. I'm, I'm kind of salty, man. Y'all get the y'all y'all get the box truck. Y'all oh. y'all can y'all can park at Walmart. Y'all can park at uh park in the front of the truck stops when the truck stops is full. Y'all can come in in the middle of the night and still find somewhere to park, man. I'm oh I'm salty. Uh, you know me, I, I I got issues every time I come into a truck stop and no parking space. I gotta ride down and find somewhere that I can park at. You guys could just. You guys got free range to park uh to park anywhere. Hmm. That ain't fair. Right. Ain't fair. Right. I mean they usually don't mind us. I, I I mean we're we're small, so it's not like we're gonna take up too much space and you know, as long as we don't make no mess or, or bother nobody, we fine wherever we go. Do you guys uh do you guys are you guys uh bound by uh E L D regulations? Yeah, yeah. So we still have the same um, kind of clock that you would in a regular tractor trailer. Still only to drive eleven hours and all that good stuff. Oh, okay. Now, do you do you do you and your husband do y'all super drive? And what I mean by super drive, one drive during the day and the other drive during the night, or do y'all or do y'all uh, do you guys do like 
one take a shift, like first shift, and then the other one take the second shift, and then you guys park at night? Um, so, I mean, it all depends on the day. Even though we do the same job y'all do, we don't get as many loads as y'all do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it all depends. If there's uh, a load and it's only an eight-hour load, I'm going to drive four. You're going to drive four. Maybe I might drive the whole eight hours out. I don't know. But um, if we had a longer load, usually I drive during the day and he drives at night. Okay. So you so you could sleep. You could sleep while he's driving. I mean, do you have any problems sleeping while he's driving? Some people Actually, do. Actually, my sleeping is better when he is driving. I don't like he he carry a lot of body heat, so I don't mind him driving while I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> all right, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, all right. So if if trucking wasn't if if trucking didn't work out and let's just say hypothetically speaking, you didn't get your class B, what would have been a plan B for you if 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 it wasn't for trucking or if if it wasn't trucking? Uh, to be honest with you, I do not know. Um, I spent majority of my working career bouncing from job to job just trying to find a home. So I can't really even tell you um, what I what I would would have wanted to do if I didn't trust. Um, I usually did a lot of office work, like home office, home job work, and stuff like that. But I mean, that won't mind my passion i guess i I'm, i was struggling to find my passion but now that i found what i like to do i'm not gonna stop all right well jiggly trucker thank you thank you let me ask you this right quick let me ask you this right quick you uh you you you're a, fe you're a female trucker you're you're a black uh female trucker um unfortunately there's not enough uh, female truckers out here and and on top of that it's not enough black female truckers out out here what advice would you would you would you give for uh for for young black female truckers uh, to get them to come out and do a job like this um i would say nothing is going to stop you. If it's something that you want to do, go out there and do it and don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it just because you're black and just because you are a female because you're going to hear that a lot, like you can't do your job. You're, turn them wheels. That's all I got to say. Turn them wheels. If you want to get on here and do it, you can do it. All right. That's what's up. Do you think, um, do you think the trucking industry makes it hard uh, makes it hard for women to get into this uh, industry? Um, I'm not going to say that they uh, make it hard. I'm, I'm just going to say a lot of people in the trucking industry makes it hard because I feel as though there's some companies out there that truly adore women drivers and things like that but there are a lot of male egos that don't want women on the road or they feel like it this is supposed to be a quote-unquote men's job so yeah some people they will they will make your job hard they will make your life hard um but you just don't have to work twice as hard to get it done what you know? what, what what do you say what do you say to what what do you say to the men? What do you say to the men of trucking? The what do you say to the men of trucking that that puts females down in this industry? What do you say to them? I tell them to keep on keep on out my way. <laughs> what you mean? I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. So either move, either move, or get with me. You I mean, say it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, Jiggly Trucker, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. I do appreciate you stopping by once again to uh, share some of your experiences. 
woof us and all like that. So thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, what's your, uh, what was, uh, I already mentioned your social media outlet. So, uh, which you guys could catch her on YouTube, which she has the Jiggly Trucker. That's J I G G L E Y Trucker. And her Instagram is Jiggly Puffs. She be rough and stumping with her Afro puffs. Hey. So, yeah. Thank you very much, Jiggly, for coming on. And if you guys want to come on and chop it up with me, you can. You can hit me up in the email. You can drop a line. You can you can leave it in the comments. You can start by hitting me up at lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. You can drop a line in the YouTube comments. If you guys see anybody else that's inter- uh, that looks interesting and you think they might want to come on and talk, send that over to me as well. Or you can get at me over in the Instagram where you can subscribe. And as a matter of fact, I am I am about I'm about 400 deep on Instagram now. Unbelievable! I, I didn't realize that I. I, I didn't realize I had a counter. I look up at the counter. One, it was like at 200 at one point. I look at it again, and I'm 400 deep. So, yay me. Yay me. What's up? But anyway, we're going to get on up out of here. I'm going to have uh, I'm gonna have somebody to play me out. I don't know who it's going to be, but you guys should be hearing it in the midst of it. You know, that's playing me out right now. But... I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And if you guys just want to like the video, do that. Like the video. I'm rambling right now. So hit the hit the like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell. That bell makes it. Who's this? Hit your phone over and over. Who's this? Hit your phone over and over. On that note, you guys take it easy, and I'll come back, you, come back at you with another video. And I'm out. Yeah, I'm pretty... Upset. Oh, yeah. Upset. Upset. I'm pretty sad. I'm pretty sad. I'm pretty sad. I'm pretty sad. Yeah, I'm pretty upset. 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 I'll be with my baby. <laughs>